Hi, I'm Penn from the Shoppy Farm. Uh, this is my brother Peter. Uh, so we're gonna, we're supposed to be talking about how Peter got involved. Uh, after uh, yesterday, we talked about uh, kind of how the whole thing started. So basically, uh, after I talked to Dr. Meir and the idea got started, Peter was the first person that I called. Uh, he's the one that does all the work. <laughs> so uh, I called him on the oil rig, or when I was on a ship off the coast of Africa. <laughs> so he's a merchant marine engineer. Uh, he was out to sea and uh, I, mean, I think I just basically asked if if he would come run the farm with me if, if I restarted it. I don't think he were ashore. <laughs> Still sinking though. Uh, anyway, um, so I called Pete and I don't know, I think he pretty much said okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, you and I talked about what we thought would transpire in a few months, and it sounded like if we got a handle on things within a few months, I could go back to work, which kind of worked with my schedule at the time. And so we said three or four months of being here, and then I would ship out again, and that was like 18, 18 or so months ago, and I think I've left the property for three, four days. So it worked out well. Yeah, as planned. <laughs> I think the day that he showed up, he left his truck running for like three hours because I was doing something with the tractor. I don't think he'd ever touched the tractor. No. Just got in, hopped out, hopped in the tractor. It's basically been like that. It's been nonstop ever since. Um, yeah, I don't. There wasn't a whole lot of discussion. We just decided no. to do it. Yeah, I mean, it was something that I think everybody and our family had kind of fantasized about because in our lifetime it was never really an operating farm and we always wanted it to be but we were always doing other things and this was seemed like an opportunity to really make that happen and it gave us an excuse to hang out and to actually have the family around each other again instead of being spread out all over the country yeah, which is one of the really cool things. So the whole family is home uh, at this point, with the exception of our uncle, uh, and he's usually here. Uh, but the whole pandemic issue, of course, has complicated that. Uh, but so that's pretty great. And it's, I mean, obviously working. The frogs are moving in. <laughs> they uh, obviously there's complications working with your family, but uh, we've worked together before uh, on some pretty hard stuff. So I think we're. I mean, that's why I wanted to do this with Peter, because I knew that no matter how hard it got, we would, you know, we'd see it through together and it would be, you know, we'd, we'd get it. Wow, he's really loud. Um, anyway, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we fight a lot. <laughs> and I think Allison is traumatized at the way that we uh, work out our differences, but um, we're three boys, um, and that's just how you do it, I guess. So, I don't know. I mean, it yeah. along. We can sit yeah, in a we're boat still together. in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's corny. <laughs> it is sinking, it which is, is it is sinking, which is also probably poetic in some ways. But uh, so yeah, that's it. I mean, we uh, neither of us certainly knew exactly what we were getting ourselves into when we started this, uh, and that was what what we originally thought was. So Peter came home in April. I think it was April very end of it's last awesome. year and we thought he'd kind of be around until August or September which was like you know somewhere around harvest and then somehow magically harvest was just going to get done in like two weeks and he was going to go back out to uh, to work but harvest took like six months uh, and it really never ended we're still kind of not even totally done uh, with the processing so yeah that's pretty much it we're still uh still getting along we still got a lot of work left to do yeah that's it all right Allie we love you this is what you're gonna Bye. get <laughs>